fellow software back in this time, we have a nice laptop to repair. It's a Lenovo Yoga 530 Ryzen 5 and Radeon graphics. Now, this job is coming from a computer shop, and what they are saying, not turning on screen might need replacement. Now, it's one thing on <laughs> about the Sorin doing repairs. Sorin is doing repairs. Sorin is not doing replacement. If I replace the screen of this laptop, I'm making no money. I mean, the screen is not cracked. Uh, but they said it's no picture or no back, like something like that. I will say, let's plug a charger. Actually, let's press the power button. Yeah, and the laptop it is coming on. And I can't see anything. The caps lock is working. Yeah, that's mean. It's not a. It's not a motherboard. I can't see any picture on the screen. Nothing. Not even shadows. Maybe if I clean it. But before we are starting, let's speak about today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop solution based on the fact that all kinds of PCBs, 3D printing, CNC, sheet metal, are available from them. Every new register, they are getting $5 welcome bonus, which is about 10 PCBs. So you will get 10 PCBs for free. All you have to do is to pay for the postage. Now, I did check myself the PCB quality. We can clearly see here we are speaking about uh, a top-notch uh, PCB manufacturer. Now, don't forget, you can uh, check the link on the description and uh, you can place your first order. Now, let's go back to our uh, repair. Let's see, let's make it nice. Okay, what about now? Still can't see anything. Let me power off and on. Nothing. But nothing, nothing. No picture, no backlight, nothing. But I think the motherboard is good because the caps lock is working. I will say, let's open the laptop and let's have a look inside. Yeah, I want to check the screen connector first. I mean, that's what we are doing on this channel. We are learning repairs. To replace is, you know, kind of easy. Replace a motherboard, easy. But in order to make a living, uh, we have to repair the things. And the laptop has all screws out, so we can open out the laptop. You know what I want to check? 19 probably is present always. I want to check the 3.3. Because I can't see any shadow on the screen, like nothing. Not even a change on uh, polarization. Yeah, we do have the screen connector here. And it's looking good. I can't see any liquid damage. I'm going to power on the laptop. Yeah, let's go under the microscope. And here everything is looking fine. Yeah, probably does the backlight fuse. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's check. So the backlight voltage is zero volts. Okay, that's interesting. Here is zero. Here is 7.8. How this comes? Yeah, so on a zero ohm resistor, here I have like eight volts, here I have nothing. What happened here? Across the resistor is still voltage, so yeah, now it's good. Check that. Yeah, we fix it. I can't believe. Let's check. Let's see. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, the problem is still no picture there. <laughs> Maybe it's not detected. Okay, let me shut down and power on again. We fixed it. We fixed it. Let's see. No, we didn't fix it. We have no picture on the screen. We fixed the backlight voltage, right? Yeah, but still no backlight. Uh, feels bad, man. I mean, already I fixed the fault. Mm? We fixed that resistor. We scratched the resistor and the resistor start working. <laughs> uh, you see? The meaning of greeting, fixing resistors, yeah. 
But yeah, don't get me wrong. The resistor is good now. We have 7 volts. Okay, let's see the 3.3. So, uh, not sure we what we have here. We have zero. Not sure what we have here. We have 3.3, lol. Okay, that's bad. Uh, I mean, the, I, I think the full start with a faulty resistor. That's why they have a, with a backlight uh, resistor. And probably someone worked on the screen and... Uh, now the laptop end up with no picture, no backlight. Yeah, I mean, have in mind this laptop is coming from a computer shop, so they probably they try already some things. We have to go on the back of the screen. It's a must. And now here we have some plastic thingies. Yeah. Good, so we have four screws. The screws are out. Now how can we take the screen out? Oh, do you think it's coming out? No, it's stuck. The screen is stuck on the back. Do we have some rubber things here? No, I can't see any rubber things. They were supposed to be here, right? And are not. Yeah, yeah, coming out. You know, I think someone used sticky things to stack the screen back. I don't think it's coming like that from, from the factory. Or, oh, I don't know. Okay, one side is open. Coming out and it's done. Ah, oh, lol, the sticky thing was not on the sides. That's crazy. Check here. Indeed, has some sticky things, but was here. And I was expecting to see them here. <sighs> well, we can consider we apply another sticky bands. Yeah. Okay. Let's unplug the battery. Battery is unplugged. Let's take the screen connector out. Taking the screen connector out and it's looking fine. Hmm. Okay, that's bad. We have the touch screen also. But it is strange and I don't understand why we have no picture and why no backlight. I mean, the board is good, right? We should have a picture or backlight. So, uh, something... It's not okay. It's not coming on anymore. <laughs> the laptop is not coming on. That's crazy. Okay, let's plug a charger. Uh, okay, now it's faulty. Yeah. Now it's faulty. Charger. No. No. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Plug in the charger and it's taking 900 milliamps and it's coming on. Okay. So the battery was disconnected. Yeah, still no uh, no picture. Probably it's loading the BIOS because we reset the BIOS when we disconnect the battery and we have picture. That's crazy. What happened? Huh? What happened here? Huh? And you'll say, no, frozen bio, sorry, frozen. No, 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 no. 
that fuse from the from the screen was burned. We checked the voltage together. Ah, can't believe. So uh, can we agree actually here we had two different faults? Hmm? Can we agree about that? Yeah, I have to put the screen back. Okay. And here we have to put the screws. We still have the rubber thingy. It's like brand new there. Yeah. So can we agree we had two different folds? So I believe initially this laptop was coming on with picture and no backlight. Then uh, something happened. I mean, the board was still, uh, was still okay. The caps lock was working. So either the screen was, uh, or the the BIOS, the whatever it was, something was frozen because uh, because we had we had no picture first, yeah, no backlight, and the backlight is coming from the EC chip, okay? So like a partial frozen EC chip can be, yeah. And suddenly we disconnect the battery. Now we have picture, we have backlight, we have everything. What did you said to fix that fuse? Huh? Feels bad, man. Why you don't let this laptop to come back to me? You know, sometimes I want to see, I want to, you know, to be part of the laptop history. <laughs> We want the customer to come back. Yeah, yeah. He went to standby. Oh, we broke it. Okay, we found the problem. It's not working anymore. It's not working anymore. We have picture and no backlight. Can't believe. <laughs> My fuse died under warranty. <laughs> Let's check the backlight voltage. So the backlight voltage is 0 0.6 volts. Uh, we have to do another scratch on the backlight fuse. And we are fine. Yeah. So my backlight fuse died, right? So here we have 0 0.6, and here we have 19. <laughs> my fuse died. Yeah, let's scratch it more. And now we have 19.5. Yeah, yeah. That's how you charge the the screen. And now we have backlight. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, okay, let me shut down the laptop and let's fix that. Uh, oh, the fuse died again. Can't believe. Yeah, we need a proper calibrated wire, some uh, rosin. Good. A solder. Just a little bit. Perfect. Perfect. And my wire. Yeah, this is a fuse. Yeah, we're gonna charge money for a fuse replacement, yeah. Fuses are expensive. Yeah, and the fuse is done, check that. Brand new fuse. And now, plug in the battery. Laptop is coming on, good. Yeah, we have to wait because we reset the BIOS to disconnect the battery. <sighs> yeah, and we have picture. You know, I'm asking myself, do you think it's a ribbon cable issue? No. Yeah, all good, you know. I was thinking, you know, it's some, um, some uh, uh, ribbon cable issue, but no. The touchscreen is working, everything is working fine. So what do you think? Strange fault, right? 
Yeah. yeah. Strange. No, no, solid. No, no issues. Well, I'm happy I held the customer. Uh, I'm going to stop here. Moving the ribbon cable? No, no, everything is fine. Uh, I'm going to stop here, I will say. Thank you for watching. Uh, it was a strange fold. You know, don't forget, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye.